Hello, this is Pastor Ken Carlson. One of my jobs is teaching college classes online. One of my courses is in world religions. I used to give out an assignment where the students were to summarize each religion, give something about the history of the religion, who are the deities of that religion, do they have special scriptures or holy books, do they have festivals or holidays, and so on. On separate occasions, two different students were summarizing Christianity, and this is how they identified the holy days of Christianity. Black Friday is the day that Jesus died. Good Friday is good because that's the day that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And then he rose again to demonstrate that he is the one who conquered sin and death and hell. He gave himself as the ultimate gift so that those who trust him can look forward to heaven instead of hell. Here's what Jesus said about Good Friday. The Father loves me because I sacrificed my life so that I may take it back again. No one can take my life from me. I sacrifice it voluntarily. For I have the authority to lay it down when I want to, and also to take it up again. For this is what my Father has commanded. Black Friday, of course, is the day after Thanksgiving when merchants have everything on sale so that they can keep their books in the black instead of in the red. It's the kickoff for an increased profit season during the Christmas shopping spree. Perhaps my students unintentionally made a correct appraisal of Black Friday. There's nothing wrong with gift giving or trying to find a good sale. But too often, Black Friday is the day when Jesus is the last thing on anyone's mind. Shoppers are so consumed with getting the best deal, all in the name of a holiday that's supposed to honor him, and he dies in their hearts. Lord above, in the rush to move from one holiday to the next, fill our hearts with ongoing thanksgiving, gratitude for the ultimate gift, Jesus' birth, death, and resurrection. In his name we pray, amen.